Hello, my name is Emma Greenwell, and today I'm going to be discussing trailer safety. Introduction. What is it? Importance of trailer safety. Checklist of trailer safety and the basic hookup procedure. What is horse trailer safety? The most important thing when traveling anywhere, whether it is going horse camping with friends or going to a horse competition is getting there safe and sound. Trailer safety is important as it identifies the hardships that can come along the way when dealing with horses and trailers. Horse owners have to fully understand that messing with horses and trailers can be a lot of work and sometimes very stressful. <coughs> Why is trailer safety important? Trailer safety is important because you must inspect, maintain, and service your trailer to stay safe. Trailer safety identifies how to keep your horses and you safe. Before taking off in the horse trailer, look around the trailer and make sure everything is working properly. If not working properly, this can cause lawsuits due to faulty lights, tires, and brakes. Make sure to follow basic trailer hookup procedures. If not followed, this can cause you to lose the entire trailer and cause an accident. One must be knowledgeable about the hauling capacity of the trailer so it's not overloaded. Overloading can cause tire blowouts, put too much strain on the truck, or bend the trailer's axle. Checklist when dealing with trailer safety. The first thing when messing with horses and trailers is identifying what all needs to be checked. Make sure to completely look at the horse trailer up and down. Observe the trailer's flooring plus the planks, beams, and undercarriage of the trailer. You also want to make sure that the hitch is solid and in good condition and you want to make sure that there are no cracks or excessive rust on the undercarriage of the trailer. The image on the left is a poor example of trailer safety. It might be hard to see on the screen, but this image shows rotten trailer flooring. This would not be stable for horses to stand on if horses were to step into the trailer. This could cause an accident. The image on the right shows trailer flooring that is not broken, in terrible condition, or rotting. This trailer has rubber mats that help provide cushion for the horse's hooves and prevents rotting in the trailer. Also, rubber floor mats should not be slippery and should be stable and fully secured into the trailer safely. Rubber mats should be removed periodically from the trailer. Urine or water trapped in between the mat and the wood causes for the wood to rot. Check the tires, lights, and exterior. Making annual maintenance checks is very important to keep the trailer safe. Check Lights on both the truck and trailer carry extra fuses and lights in case of an emergency. Make sure wheels are checked often. This means checking the tire pressures, the tire threading, making sure the lug nuts are on tight, and always having a spare tire in case of emergency. Do not leave home without a jack or a spare tire. Be sure on the wheels that the lug nuts are properly secured or it could cause the wheel to wobble. Eventually the studs could shear off and the trailer could lose a wheel. Inspect safety chains, emergency breakaway cable, brake pads, hinges, springs, and ball hitch. Safety chains are used to hook the truck up to the trailer and the chains should be crossed and hooked to the vehicle frame, not the truck bumper. Make sure brake pads, hinges, springs, and ball hitch are in working condition. Inside the trailer, the flooring 
is very important and make sure there's no sharp edges. The flooring in the horse trailer should be constantly checked for weaknesses or problems that can endanger the horse. Look for loose materials not needed to be in the trailer. This could be materials such as nails that can cause accidents to happen. Look inside for animals not needed to be in the trailer. This could be dogs, snakes, wasps, or mice. Make a detailed list to avoid forgetting to check anything. This could be making sure all locks and doors are fully shut. And also, this makes sure to check the windows. This will provide ventilation for horses while traveling in a trailer. How to hook up your truck to a trailer. The first thing that you want to do when hooking your truck up to a trailer is line up. When dealing with a bumper pull trailer, it is easier to always have an extra person around to help. This extra person can help you it can help guide the driver as they back into the position. Lower and lock the hitch. The ball should be directly under the hitch and then the jack cranked fully down until the hatch lowers onto the ball. The last step is to lock the hitch. If there's a coupler on the trailer, which a coupler is the part that physically connects the ball onto your truck's hitch, sometimes kicking it or hitting it helps cuff the lock into place with the pin as the image shown on the left. Plug in and check the likes. Take the electric wiring and connect it to the outlet near the truck's license plate. When dealing with horses, check all the trailer's lights. It is important to check all of the running lights on the truck and the trailer. Most importantly, check the emergency flashers on the trailer to guarantee that they are working properly. Sometimes individuals use LED lights because they're bright. Safety chains. On all horse trailers, safety chains are used for one purpose only, to keep the trailer on safe. Safety chains on trailers should always be crossed. This prevents the trailer tongue from dropping to the ground if the trailer ball were to come off the ball. The emergency brake cable and remove the chocks. Now it's time to connect the emergency brake cable to the vehicle. The emergency brake cable ensures that the trailer cannot come loose from the truck. The cable on a bumper pull trailer is connected by the frame. The cable will tighten and pull the pin near the hitch coupler to prevent the trailer falling off. When getting the trailer hooked up to the truck, it is important to remove all chocks. These can be wooden blocks in between the wheels of the trailer that were placed there so the trailer is stable and not going anywhere. Remove the chocks before taking off after the truck and trailer are connected. Don't overload the trailer. Before towing a trailer, it is important to consider how much the weight the truck can carry and tow at the same time. This is referred to as the gross combination weight rating. This identifies how much the trailer can tow, the weight of the truck, and the total cargo the truck and trailer can carry all together. This information is normally found on the owner's manual. If you don't know or can't find it, ask a mechanic. In conclusion, to all of you horse lovers out there, take care of the trailers you use often. Clean those trailers weekly or even every time you use it. Make those basic checkup needs because you never know when you're going to lose a tire or if the safety chain breaks or if a light bulb goes out on the trailer. Trailer safety is safety for the people in the truck and the horses in the trailer. In the end, the best thing is if you and the horses get there safe and sound.